Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So February time or January time is when all the kind of new 2019 stuff tends to start arriving. We're getting a few sort of bits and bobs, new interesting things. Uh, so let's take a look at what's new in for February. Okay guys, so first up we have the Apex RK3 fin in pink. So the RK3 fin came out a few years ago. I myself, I've got a set, they're a fantastic pair of fins. Um, these have been around for a little while and I'm not sure if I've actually shown it to you guys. Um, this is the pink version, only comes in two different sizes, doesn't come in the, uh, the larger super size, uh, but these are basically the, uh, the standard version of the fin in a bright pink version. So if pink is your thing, pink is your color, um, if you're after a really tough but pretty short pair of fins, then the RK3 fins are fantastic. I use mine on my dry suit and when I travel abroad because even though they are a, a really tough pair of fins, they're not that heavy and because they're short, they're great in confined spaces like reefs and, uh, and caves and wrecks and things. So you don't have to worry about your fin tips from touching everything. Uh, I really like them. They've got that spring heel strap on the back, which just makes it real easy just to get them on and off um, and in a bright pink version. Okay, next up we have the new um, sort of primary torch from Scuba Pro. This is the Nova 850. It comes in two, well, it comes in four different versions. We get the, uh, the larger version, just the 850, and then we get the small compact version, which is the 850R. The R means rechargeable, uh, so it comes with a rechargeable battery inside of it. Uh, the bigger brother, just the 850, that comes just, uh, you need to get some, I think it's three C cell batteries uh, to put inside of that. And then it comes in two different versions. Uh, we've got a, uh, either a spotlight beam or a wide angle. So depending on whether you want to look at, uh, just focus on one thing in particular, or just sort of evenly cast that light over uh, an entire scene, um, this is a great torch. You can of course dial it down, um, but at full beam you've got 850 lumens, which is very bright, especially on a night dive. Um, so instead of the uh, the twist head that the uh, the 720, the previous version had, this one has a push button uh, with a lock feature. You've got to press it five times to unlock it and then that little blue light will switch on uh, and then you can then use that button. That's just so that when it's in storage, it doesn't sort of switch on by itself. They're pretty tough, they're nice and compact. Uh, they've got this little um, sort of lip um, sort of cap over the top of it to help so that you don't blind yourself um, from that torch light, but you can take that off if you want. Um, a very tough torch, uh, 850 lumens is, uh, is plenty. Um, that's the Scuba Pro Nova 850. Okay, uh, we got a few new full face snorkel masks. These seem to be taking the world by storm, um, but there are some dodgy ones out there, so be careful. Um, we only go with the sort of the top quality ones. Uh, this one's from SIAC, this is the Magica. This is their budget range, uh, and they've taken particular um, sort of focus on the airflow, making sure that all of the uh, sort of fresh air coming in, there's a really big bore tube, so you get plenty of fresh air that defogs the mask on the way down, but when you exhale, it gets a completely separate um, sort of tube that comes around the side of the mask and then out, so you're not going to be mixing your fresh with your dirty sort of um, exhaled gas. Um, lots of different sort of grades on masks. As I said, this is the budget version. You can go up to the Unica and the Libera. Um, they just have slightly nicer materials, uh, lots of different colors and lots of different sizes as well, so they fit everybody. Definitely very popular nowadays, the uh, full face snorkel mask. A lot of people seem to prefer the fact that it just covers your entire um, face and you can breathe through both your nose and your mouth. Okay, then we have, so this is the Ammonite AccuThermo uh, 14 amp hour battery. So this is more for the technical divers. So this is for your heated undersuits or your um, sort of umbilical torches. It has the standard uh, sort of EO connector. So that's a waterproof connector. You can connect that to pretty much anything, uh, obviously, as long as it has that EO connector. Um, Big rechargeable battery. It's not the biggest. You can usually get up to like 24 amp hour if you're going um, sort of something serious or you're trying to uh, sort of run two things off a single battery. But 14 amp hours is uh, is plenty for sort of most traditional diving. And um, and you have an adjustable sort of power setting, so you can dial it up and then switch it off. Um, you have full control over. Um, sort of how much power it's actually kicking out. Very quick to, uh, to recharge and uh, it comes as standard 
fitted with these two little clamps and this section of webbing. So it just threads onto a two inch webbing belt and just kind of sits there on your hip. Um, or if you're on side mount, then you can sort of clip it to uh, the small of your back. Nice compact little battery, decent size uh, with a decent output. And finally, we have the Aqualung Transmitter 2.0. So I hear you ask, why are you showing us this Aqualung Transmitter? It looks just like the previous version. It's very much exactly the same as the previous transmitter, but on the inside, they've made some very clever changes. So first of all, they've changed the PCB, the kind of motherboard chip inside of it, and that has improved the, uh, the battery life, so it actually lasts a lot, lot longer than the previous version. They've also given it some, um, some electromagnetic interference protection. Um, so there's less kind of interference uh, between this and your dive computer. Um, there's also a flow rate restrictor on the inside that um, sort of meets current CE standards. Um, they've made lots of little tweaks on the inside. The main selling point for me on this transmitter is that it's a, uh, a permanent pairing. Um, so instead of having to sort of pair it every kind of three dives or every now and then when your dive computer forgets, you basically you type in the serial number of the, um, of the transmitter to your Aqualung or your sheer water or anything um, that, um, that sort of talks to a pelagic transmitter and they're paired for life. It's only ever looking for that serial number. So very, very smart and now it's got the new version, it's much safer and it lasts a lot, lot longer. Okay, so there were all the sort of new interesting bits, but there's plenty more on our website, simplyscuba.com. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.